comes to singing high notes, not only do we need to apply all of the techniques we learned in the previous exercise, such as raising the soft palate, dropping the jaw on the top notes, and making sure our tongue is nice and relaxed and resting against the back of our bottom teeth, but we also need to throw another critical element into the mix, and that is singing with energy. Unbeknownst to many singers, singing high notes requires enormous amounts of energy. There are two principal types of energy that we need to elevate when it comes to singing in general, but even more so when we're singing high notes. The first type of energy is your physical energy. Raising your physical energy, raising your heart rate and increasing your blood circulation can really help uh, give you that extra boost you need to get up to those top notes. I personally love to exercise daily, not just for health reasons, but because it helps prepare my body for the day ahead, which is always full of singing. Singing when you're tired or flat or lethargic can lead to pushing or straining your voice because you're not engaging the supportive energy from the body. It may help you to do a few star jumps or to jog on the spot or something before you sing, especially if you're feeling a little bit flat. This will wake up the senses and prepare the body for further physical activity. And we all know that singing is indeed a very physical sport. The next area of focus is our mental energy. Singing is also an intellectual sport and requires much focus, strategic thought and creative visualization. Preparing your mental energy for the phrase ahead is crucial to the execution or outcome of that phrase. If you don't know where you're going vocally or what's required from your body and your voice during that phrase, inevitably you'll enter into that phrase unprepared, which means you'll most likely not implement the necessary techniques to execute the phrase successfully. However, increasing mental energy doesn't just consist of thinking about the technical requirements related to your singing, it also includes preparing yourself emotionally. A great little exercise I use with my students to increase physical and mental energy simultaneously in preparation for singing high notes especially is to get them to imagine that they're in the bull ring. So let me set the scene. Okay, so you're in the bull ring and there's a big angry bull on the other side of the ring, right? And he's waiting to be let out of the blocks at which point he's gonna charge at you. Now your job is to catch the bull by the horns or die. They're your only two options, okay? However, if you do catch the bull by the horns, you'll be given 20 million bucks, okay? So the stakes are high, to say the least. Okay, so you're probably not going to be standing there all relaxed and chilled like, oh yeah, there's a bull coming and you know, I might die and all, but whatevs. You're going to be ready. You're going to be bracing yourself. Your focus will be sharp and your energy level is going to be through the roof. You're determined to catch this bull because your life depends on it. You're there, you're ready. The adrenaline is coursing through your veins. Now that's the kind of energy you need to generate as you're going for those higher notes. That feeling of really being alive, of being ready, that feeling of anticipation. I liken it to a self-induced adrenaline rush. Now, you might wanna use the bull ring analogy or you can use a mental trigger that delivers the same results. But whatever you do, you must elevate your mental and physical energy levels as much as possible before you sing those higher notes.